Wait, why are we here again? Just kidding, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Natalia Joy, and I get the pleasure of interviewing Nick Co from Real Social Dynamics. How are you doing, Nick? Great, thanks. Good. I'm so happy to have you here today. So I'm super excited because I read a few things about you, your book, movies coming out, things going on. Um, tell me what's new in the Real Social Dynamics world. We're working on a TV series, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, we're creating a TV show about the history of creating an industry of pickup artists, which is kind of like a, say, uh, entourage meets uh, Silicon Valley, talking about all the crazy tribulations of building a crazy industry. Right. Um, I think it'll be uh, interesting because we're focusing on how these pickup artists are socially conscious and uh, talking about self-improvement. Because right. a lot of people who will think about what we do will kind of confuse what we do with something that's more notorious or right. nefarious. And uh, I think that uh, it'll have a little edginess of it. Uh, and we're finishing the pilot uh, this December, so I'm really excited for that. Oh, that's super exciting. Yeah. I mean, um, you know, being a pickup artist or even in general, giving people the courage to go out there and speak to people which a lot of people don't do nowadays, right? Because we're so inundated with our own little worlds is a, is a really honorable thing. I mean, it's not easy talking to people randomly. <laughs> <laughs> well, it I'm takes a, a lot of courage. Yeah, definitely. I, even my brother-in-law, who's somebody who talks to people all the time, but he doesn't actually go out and talk to people unless he's actually working. Right. So people have to come up to him. Right. And uh, it's a, it's a, a problem that has led to him not having like an active dating life since he got divorced after a couple of decades. And now he has a much more active one after going through our program in Vegas. Oh, exciting. Yeah. So if you guys need help out there just learning how to come out of your shell and, and talk and speak to people that you might want to be interested in and get to know them, you know, you should come and look up Real Social Dynamics because Nick has a wonderful program out there. So I have a question. If I was a girl and I was just sitting at the bar, <laughs> what would be your pickup line? <laughs> well, if I was a, a polar bear, I would say, bam, bam, I'm here to break the ice. Ooh. But I mean, most of the time, we just walk up, say hi, and just start a conversation. It's interesting because I'll go to uh, events where people will talk to me about all the pickup tactics. And I'm more of a business guy behind the scenes. I'll usually refer people to the instructors as oh, opposed nice. to um, talking about, say, a pickup. Because as a guy who's now married, most of my experience is more just uh, hanging out with my wife, drinking wine and chilling. And then uh, my instructors are going out to the bars and clubs, continuing meeting people, going out to public places. And the weird thing is that if I was going to create a curriculum, I'd have to change it continually because every single instructor is completely different. Right. You have like a, a crazy rocker guy, you have a crazy, um, uh, you know, real like a nerdy guy, but he's very intellectual and cool and you'll have all these different types of personalities. And uh, I think what's interesting is that when we think about real social dynamics, because we have so many different personalities that we convey different kinds of teachings, I think what will happen is people will watch social media, relate to somebody, and have a special relationship, really right. special relationship with our customers. And they'll kind of have an affinity to a particular kind of personality. Uh, so when I think about real social dynamics, it's kind of us thinking about, say, a network. So you're uh, really big in Hollywood, and so you'll see a network like, say, uh, HBO, and it has all different shows. You're not really interested in all of them, but you'll be attracted to a particular kind of personas. Right, to different characters. Yeah. That's amazing. I'm excited. I think I need to go through your program too. <laughs> yeah, you should. You'd have a lot of fun. <laughs> Meet lots of new, interesting people. In I can totally see us doing a music video together. <laughs> I hope so. We could call it the one line pickup liner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't have a problem going out to places and just interviewing or meeting people. I mean, I teach my kids now when you walk up to somebody, you say, Hi, my name is, and I'm. 
and you start a sentence that way just to like break the ice because you know even kids have a hard time figuring out how to introduce themselves and it's as easy as a one two three step <laughs> and we have to teach our guys how to be uh you know, like your kids from scratch because so many people don't know that's not a natural thing but you're continually out there uh, networking with people. You're organizing events at the Beverly Hills Times, fashion shows, cool events. Uh, I think it's come, it's come to you so naturally now because it's something that you do all the time. So it's like right, an easy just thing to yourself. teach your kids. I think it's really cool if you could do that. I'd love to do that as a parent too. Thanks. Well, I think you're doing an outstanding job teaching people who need help or you know, who aren't open because a lot of people are in the business aspect of the world mm -hmm. that they don't know how to personally interact because they're always interacting via, you know, text, email, phone, that type of thing. So I'm super excited about your programs. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. In your movie, that's in interesting. I can't wait to see what happens with it. I mean, yeah, that's it's actually one of the reasons that got me into wanting to create a TV show because the movie is coming out is about our first year in business. And it's something that's kind of controlled by James Franco as opposed to me. So I wanted to uh, create our own situation, our own story that the kind of shows thing, everything. You know? Yeah, not just one year, but right. so much happened in the last, say, entire 15 years that to be defined of our, just our first year in business is not something that yeah. I really want. It's kind of like uh, being defined of your first relationship, your first right. year in a relationship, where things just evolve and change. You become totally oh different. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's exciting. So, do you have anything else on the radar that we should be looking for? We're raising money for the uh, Las Vegas uh, Relief okay. for uh, the shooting that happened here at that country music festival. Yeah, mm -hmm. so so tragic, but it really brought the community. So, Vegas strong. Yeah, <laughs> and people can check it out at uh, rsdvegasreliefund.com. rsdvegasreliefund.com. Yep. Check it out, you guys. That's exciting. Also make some uh, really cool music videos. Oh, exciting. Yeah. Maybe I should teach a class, huh? That'd be fun. Hey, how to open yourself up and be more projective towards people and... You'd be great. You know, get them to want to aspire to be more open and positive and... I think it'd be fun to have you actually go out with the boys and be their wingman, wingwoman. Oh. They'll be my wing team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll be opening up all these doors and they'll be like, oh, what happened? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can totally see exciting. that happening. Yeah, yeah, so look for us, you guys. This should be some great new adventures happening <laughs> soon. Awesome. Cheers. Cheers. Can I talk That's about... Not bad. Um, all you have to have is just one line pickup line. <laughs> <laughs> Better be the best damn pickup line you've ever got. <laughs> <laughs> it could be as simple as, let me be the fish and you'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. be like, how do polar bears pick up girls? They talk about how, ice, how cold the ice is. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to break the ice. Pom pom. <laughs> you guys are dorks. <laughs> <laughs> a dork is a male mammal marine penis bone. Oh. Did you know that? A no. dork <laughs> is a... A dork bone mm -hmm. is a male mammal, marine, penis bone. So a whale's penis bone. Bone? Interesting. Yeah. Penis bone? It's like a cartilage bone, yeah. Ah. Hmm. It was a mystery bone in my science class in high school. So is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, I guess it would be a good thing if you're a whale. <laughs> 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 but when you're a teenager and you're holding up this bone trying to figure it out, you're like, holy shit, what is this? <laughs> you're like, wow, you're such a dork. That's awesome, isn't it? <laughs> like, who would, who would come up with that? Calling somebody... A dork. A dork. Right? The bone. That would be a good history <laughs> lesson of <laughs> when bone. people started calling each other dorks. So the dork has to be a pretty significant size, I would imagine. Because if the whales are humping each other, right? Well... He has to have a pretty big dork. Maybe, I don't know. So that means if you're a big dork, it's actually a compliment, right? <laughs> you're a big shot. You are a big long shot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>